Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can retarget XSense motion capture data to Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman using the new Auto Retargeter in Unreal Engine 5.4. Now, if you've been using XSense for a while, you're going to be really happy with this tutorial here. That being said, first things first, what we're going to do is download the actual motion dummy from XSense. I'm going to put the link in the description below. But just for the sake of time, I went ahead and downloaded it. So it's called MVN Puppet Import. And I created a new folder here in my project, and we will just drag and drop that into our content drawer here. I'm gonna set the skeleton to none because we wanted to create a new skeleton. Use time zero as reference post, and that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna import an animation here, actually. It comes with a T-Post animation, and I'll just click on import all. Next up, what we're gonna do is import the animation that we got from XN software or Motion Cloud. Drag and drop that here, minimize it. And it's automatically going to see that puppet that we just imported. I'm going to say animation length is OK. Next, what I'll do is set this to 60 so we're not waiting forever. And for this specific mocap, I had to check snap to closest frame, which is fine. After that, I'll just say import. All right, so that's good to go. Now we have the actual motion capture data here. And we have the XSense dummy already dancing, so that's good to go. I'll close this out. And on the scene, I already have a downloaded MetaHuman. Now, that being said, if you are using 5.3 MetaHumans, the MetaHumans in 5.4 are considered 3.0, so you are going to have to update your MetaHumans in the MetaHuman Creator, okay? So just that's just kind of like a heads up. Make sure you're keeping a copy. So here you go. I will make this bigger here. Next, again, I'll just right-click the animation sequence, retarget animations, and as you can see here, one of the issues that we kind of came across before was the dummy is in T-Pose and MetaHumans in Unreal Engine, they're all in A-Pose. So I know before we had to do this all manually, but now if I just go to Target Skeletal Mesh, we're going to be using a female, medium, normal weight body. Boom. That is automatically going to recognize the X-Sense right here, template for the source skeleton, and it's making the MetaHuman snap to T-Pose and copy it as close as possible uh, from the actual XSense MVN dummy. So I'm going to click the PSY, and just like that, we've retargeted that animation from XSense motion capture to an Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman. So that said, I'm going to be clicking Export Retarget Asset once again. I'll create a new folder here, and what that's going to do is create three files, one IK rig from the XSense dummy to the MetaHuman, and then an IK retargeter that combines both. So I'll click on the auto-generated retargeter. We don't have to create this manually, which is amazing. All right. And one thing you're going to notice if I click on the animation right here, I'll pause it. You're going to notice that the neck head area is a lot lower than the XSense. So I'm going to Go ahead and fix that real quick. Uh, again, there's really not much documentation on this. You're going to have to play around with it yourself. Uh, that being said, I'm going to the chain mapping here. And I actually saw this in one of the Unreal Engine for Fortnite retargeting videos, honestly. And I will go to the neck piece. And in the FK, I will decrease the rotation alpha to zero so that it matches the neck and head of the XSense dummy. Now you can go and tweak all the other bones if you would like, but for the sake of this video right here, I mean, everything else looks really solid. You can take off the actual bones so you can see everything. I mean, that's pretty good for me for now. But again, another cool thing about this is if you remember MetaHumans have the metacarpal bones with the auto retargeter, that's already taken care of right here. It's already set to none. We don't have to do it manually, which is freaking amazing. All right, so here we go with Acid Browser. Once again, after fixing that, we're going to export the selected animation. Export, export, minimize. And in our scene here, I will actually drag the mocap skeletal mesh as well, right here. And we're going to create a new level sequence. Now, my mouse is kind of jacking up in here. There's definitely a bug in preview one where my mouse disappears when I'm recording. And we'll go to animation, PSY, and then we're going to add our MetaHuman, Mel, delete these, delete these, body, PSY, boom, tape this, tiny, and rotate this, 90. All right, and now what I'll do is just go to the beginning and press play. Man, this is huge. This is probably 
one of the best features that was added in Unreal Engine 5.4. But with that being said, that's pretty much it with this video. Again, just a disclaimer, there's really not much documentation on this. You're gonna have to play around with it yourself uh, because until we get some official docs, really you're just gonna play around with it. But so far, I mean, it's working, I got it working and it works for me. That said, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.